a block of mass 0.2 kilograms is suspended from the ceiling by a light string. So if this is the ceiling, then through a light string, you have a block of mass 0.2 kilograms. And from this 0.2 kilogram block, a 0.3 kilogram block is suspended. So you get some scenario like this. And in the problem, you are asked the tension in these two strings. And we are given to take G to be equal to 10 meters per second squared. Now let's let's analyze what are the forces acting here. So on this first rope, let's take the tension to be T1. And let's on the second rope, let's take the tension to be T2. Now, if you take the first block if, and you magnify on it a bit, so on this 0 0.2 kilograms block, you have a force T1 acting, that's stretching the first rope. You have a force T2 acting, that's, that's the stretch from the second string. And then you also have the gravity acting on this, and that gravity is equal to m times g. And g here is just 10 meters per second squared, so you have 0 0.2 times 10 newtons. That's equal to 2 newtons. And in the second block, for the second block, you just have the tension force T2 acting. This is the 0 0.3 kilograms block. And you have the tension force T2 acting and downwards gravity force. That will be equal to 0 0.3 times 10 newtons. This is equal to 3 newtons. Now, if you take this, now, it's since both of these are in equilibrium, there are there is no acceleration. So that means, that means the sum of forces acting on the first block, this block right here, that is equal to zero. So T1, let's take this direction to be positive and this to be negative. So T1 minus T2, since this is in the opposite direction, and again, minus two is equal to zero. We are taking everything in Newtons. And in the case of the second block, T2 minus three Newtons, T2 minus three, that is equal to zero. If you solve the second equation, you get T2 to be equal to three Newtons, since we're taking everything in Newtons, and you plug that in right here, you get T1 minus three minus two is equal to zero, that means T1 is equal to five Newtons. So the two tensions are this is equal to five Newtons, and this right here is equal to three Newtons.